Well hello and welcome to Jimmerism Total Notary Channel. Today we're going to fix this issue, fail to play test tone. Like this, you know. And we go to speakers and we right click on it and we say test. It says fail to play test tone. Well, that's not very fun. And this tutorial has been requested so many times. And finally, I should say, I've gotten this issue myself as well. So today I have the great chance to show you actually how to fix this problem and just not talk about it. So what usually causes this issue is the drivers. So what we need to do is we we'll right click here and select device manager. We can find sound and here we have the different sound devices. This as you can see is Realtek high definition audio. So let's see here driver from 2016. Uh, right. So we can try and do like this, right click on it and update driver software and search automatically for another driver. And it claims that the best driver is already installed. All right then. Usually Realtek high definition audio drivers, they suck. They suck really bad. They're actually pretty horrible. Some people really like to use this Realtek audio manager and stuff. Uh, and that's fine. If you want to do that, I'm just going to quickly show you how to uh, basically do this. So go and click your Windows button, search for system information and on this system information you can go down here and see da, 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 baseboard model. All right, it's not available. Fortunately there is a little code that you can run instead and this code looks like this, VMIC baseboard. It should tell you in system information the baseboard number. And if it doesn't, you will just have to grab a PowerShell, paste in this code and click enter. And here you can see uh, ASRock Z330OMITXAC. Very nice, this is it and the serial number. So here we have it. Uh, take this and search with this for drivers. And among those drivers, you know, you just take you just take your motherboard's uh, serial number and you search for the drivers online. When you have downloaded the drivers, these are all my drivers here. They look like something like this. Realtek Audio. You go in here and you just run the setup.exe. So basically, now I ran this file and it uninstalled the drivers and it uh, restarted the computer so now we can install them again. Very nice. Uh, so basically uh, this driver doesn't support your system blah 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 okay that's nice. So then we know this driver doesn't work for this computer. If it does work for your system you can try and use it. But personally I think that um, Realtek's audio drivers usually cause a lot more problems than uh, the things they give. So what we're going to do is we're we're just going to go into audio and input here or sound and video game controllers. It's um, they're um, here and there. And then we're going to do like this. We go to speakers, Realtek High Definition Audio on audio inputs. Like this, we select drivers. We say update driver, browse uh, for the drivers on this PC. Let me pick from a list of drivers on my computer. And then we're gonna select generic software device and then we're gonna select next and then we are going to select close. So now we're using some uh, regular old uh, drivers that is kind of uh, standard. We might want to go down here too to sound and video game controllers. We have real um, real tech high definition audio here. We do the same, we're gonna select uh, update driver software, browse, let me pick from locally high definition audio device, select this one. Installing this driver is not recommended, but it's better, so we'll just click yes and then close. And there we have it, we have our definition, high definition audio device instead of that real take driver. So now we can instead just uh, close this thing down. So here we have it. Uh, go into here, right click on this and click test. And it works perfectly. So that's how to fix cannot play test tone. It's usually a real tech audio issue and uh, you'll just fix it by this. You can of course in many cases install the latest real tech drivers and solve the issue. But you can see very clearly that in my case it doesn't even work. 
and I've downloaded the drivers for my motherboard from their homepage and it doesn't work. So, well, whatever. Uh, I'll just use the high definition audio drivers instead. I hope you have enjoyed this little tutorial and if you did, please leave a like and do subscribe to this channel because we're coming back with tech tutorials every Tuesday at least. So stay tuned for that. This is your host, Jim Odism, signing out.